Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about all the new features of 2024 release wave one for Dynamics 365 sales. So let's go ahead and dive right in, right? The first one I want to talk about is the Copilot Immersive Homepage experience, which was already introduced to us as part of 2024 release wave one. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of updates to that homepage. So when you're looking at that image that Microsoft actually has on the release notes, and I apologize, you can see it here, it's a little bit blurry. Um, but what you'll notice here is that it looks like you can almost see like a dashboard there, right? Different parts of a dashboard. So Copilot is really changing the way that sellers uh, will view data in Dynamics 365, right? So that dashboard that I just mentioned, it shows different things such as suggested actions, information about sales versus targets versus actuals, right? Opportunities uh, to focus on and also the latest updates of the accounts that the seller is managing. Now, I don't know if any of those tiles in that mini dashboard or whatever you want to call it, if we can can configure them. But I think this is pretty good information for sellers to start their day with. Right. So um, pretty, pretty nice. Now, the Copilot email assistance, we've already seen that for quite some time. Right. And the email assistance is actually one of the features that went into public preview of 2024 wave one. And that's also why we've already seen it and we already played around with it a little bit. So this feature, in case you don't know, and you haven't seen it and you haven't played around with it, it allows sellers to use Copilot to help them write emails to prospects and customers. Now, besides creating these draft emails, sellers can also ask Copilot to, for example, adjust the tone of the email and then change the length of the message. Now, another feature that went into preview a few months ago is the ability for Copilot inside of Dynamics 365 sales to summarize any long emails that you might have. So those are long emails are really emails that exceed 1000 characters, right? So those could be emails back and forth between folks. Now, both of these features will become generally available in October of this year as part of 2024 release wave two. So that's why I'm mentioning it here today. Now, when I looked at the release notes for 2024 wave one, I realized this, that this feature was also part of that release. So we're kind of seeing here a little bit of a pattern where Microsoft mentioned some of these features in wave one, but is then pushing it, right? Postponing them and pushing them to wave one. Now, I feel that the AI generated account summary is actually a very nice one because it shows sellers an AI generated summary for the account record in that Copilot side pane, right? Inside of Dynamics 365. Now we've already seen lead summaries and opportunity summaries. So this is basically a, a pretty new feature that's now showing you uh, account summary. So think about information like buying behavior, associated opportunities and leads and latest news, right? Those are some of the things that you're going to be seeing as part of this feature. Now, the thing that has me has me excited about this is the fact that administrators can configure the tables, the related tables, I should say, and the columns that are used to generate the summary. Actually, when I looked in my environment, I noticed that this preview feature is actually available today. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit as well. Now, the AI powered action suggestion. So according to the release notes, Copilot inside of Dynamics 365 sales will generate some actionable insights for sellers. So think about, you know, email follow ups that need to happen and uh, action recommendations at the end of meetings, uh, suggestions to update your CRM system, right? With some changes. Maybe somebody talked about a budget amount or a date by which they want to buy, right? So with that, you can say, hey, update the estimated um, budget or update the estimated uh, close date, those types of things. So my guess is that the AI powered recommendations will be showing up in that up next widget, right? We have that on those forms. That's what I'm guessing. 
so that sellers can immediately see it and they can immediately take action. But we're going to have to wait and see if my guess is actually uh, correct with that. And then they also have something that is called streamline your process, your sales processes with document summaries. Now, this sounds like a pretty amazing feature, but I do have a couple of questions about the documents that will be included in this summary, right? So first, let me explain what this is. So according to the release notes, sellers will be able to get a summary of documents that are associated with a contact, an opportunity, a lead, or and or an account, right? I'm not sure what associated means here, but if I think about this logically, then I would say the documents that are associated with the records inside of Dynamics 365 and those records that actually have that SharePoint folder associated to them, right? That's, that's the documents that we're talking about. Again, that's my take on it. I don't know if that's correct or not, but that would be my assumption. So the summary that's gonna be created allow sellers to get a better understanding of the BANT, right? And the BANT stands for budget, authority, need, and timeline. And then it will recommend the next best, best action based on the last activity. So pretty cool stuff. Now, the next feature is called Analyze Opportunities with Grouping and Aggregating. And this is another feature that was actually originally part of 2024 release wave one that has now been pushed to wave two. And this feature actually builds on top of the opportunity pipeline view that you are probably already familiar with. And it's gonna allow sellers to group the opportunities in this view by account, by owner, by close date, or any of those other relevant fields. And then obviously the estimated values and actual revenue amounts can be aggregated uh, from here as well. Uh, yet another feature that was originally part of 2024 release wave one, this feature uh, allows administrators to configure a custom elite qualification process, right? This is also to make sure that obviously all of those leads are thoroughly evaluated. Now admins can actually can, they can configure if the account contact and or opportunity is automatically created by a seller, right? So when it's qualified, do we want those records to automatically be created? Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that admins can actually select up to seven columns uh, to be included in opportunities that are created from that qualification, right? And then admins can also enable the creation of a lead qualification summary, right? That's then created by uh, Copilot, obviously. And this is again, after that qualification goes through, we can then see that qualification summary. And then lastly, we can also configure as, an, as admins, right? if we want to be able to uh, create multiple opportunities or just one opportunity from that one single lead. So we have some options there as well. So those are all the features that are part of uh, 2024 release wave two for Dynamics 365 sales. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks again for watching and have a great one. Until next time.